The book of Proverbs, chapter 27. Boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. Let another man praise thee, and not thy own mouth, a stranger, and not thy own lips. As stone is heavy, and the sun with weighty, but a fool's wrath is heavier than them both. Wrath is cruel, and anger is outrageous, but who is able to stand before envy? Open rebuke is better than secret love. Faithful are the unwounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. The full soul loatheth and honeycomb, but to the hungry soul every bitter thing is sweet. As a bird that wandereth from her nest, so is a man that wandereth from his place. Ointment and perfume rejoice the heart, so doth the sweetness of a man's friend by hearty counsel. Thy own friend and thy father's friend forsake not, neither go into thy brother's house in the day of the calamity, for better is a neighbor that is near than a brother far off. My son, be wise and make my heart glad, that I may answer him that reproacheth me. A prudent man foreseeth the evil, and hideth himself, but a simple pass on, and are punished. Take his garment that is surety for a stranger, and take a pledge of him for a strange woman. He that blessed his friend with a loud voice, rising early in the morning, it shall be counted a curse to him. A continual dropping in a, in a very rain, rainy day, and a continuous woman are, are alike. Whosoever hideth her, hideth the wind, and the ointment of his right hand, which bereadeth itself. Iron sharpeneth iron, so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friends. Whoso keepeth the fig tree shall eat the fruit thereof, so he that waiteth on his master shall be honored. As in water face answereth to face, so the heart of man to man. Hell and destruction are never full, so the eyes of man are never satisfied. As the finding pot for the silver, and the furnace for gold, so is a man to his praise. Though thou shouldest bray a fool in a mortar among wit with a pistol, yet will not his foolishness depart from him. Be thou diligent to know the state of thy flocks, and look well to thy herds. For riches are not for e ever, and doth the crown endure to every generation? They hay appeareth, and the tender grass cheweth itself, and herbs of the mountains are gathered. The lambs are for thy clothing and the goats are the price of the field. And thou shalt have goats, milk enough for thy food, for the food of thy household, and for the maintenance of thy maidens. Proverbs chapter 27